hello. It's my pleasure to uh, welcome you on behalf of the uh, program chairs, Scott Crossley and I were the program chairs for, for this conference. Um, and uh, I will start with a few uh, quick facts about the conference. Of course, as you know, it is a hybrid format due to the uh, international situation. And um, we had uh, 35 accepted papers. So for full papers, the acceptance rate was 28%. Uh, and uh, all the papers were uh, thoroughly reviewed by the at least three uh, members of the uh, program committee. Um, we have authors from 18 countries in five continents, uh, so resulting in a very good uh, international uh, diversity. Also, we uh, have three keynote presentations um, given by academician Dan Tufish from uh, Institute for Artificial Intelligence, Mihai Dragonescu in Romania. Uh, Professor Daniel Magnamara from Arizona State University in the US and Professor Yanis Dimitriadis from University mm -hmm. of Valladolid, uh, Spain. And uh, we will also have a demo session on uh, intelligent tutoring systems. As you know, the proceedings are published by uh, Springer in its uh, lecture notes uh, mm -hmm. in computer science. And uh, we will have uh, free online access for the conference participants. I think uh, you will receive an email or something very soon uh, regarding this, uh, this access. And uh, the main topics um, that uh, were um, addressed in this year's conference include uh, tools and methods for uh, learning sciences and practices, algorithms for prediction, recommendation, and classification in learning systems, and tutoring and learning systems, new approaches, frameworks, and theories. And this is how we organized also the, the program based on these three main uh, topics. Uh, I will not get into too many details. Uh, the program is, of course, available on the website. Uh, just as a reminder, for the full papers, we have 20 minutes plus five minutes for presentation. For the short papers, we have uh, 15 minutes plus five minutes for questions. And for the posters, we also have oral uh, presentation. So there will be 10 minutes for the actual presentation plus five minutes for questions. And uh, yeah, we will have uh, uh, one session right after uh, this uh, opening ceremony. Uh, then we will end uh, the day with a uh, reception. And I suppose the Kitty will tell us more about it. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we will also end with the banquet. And finally, what I would like to mention, in the last day from 2 p.m., you are welcome to attend also uh, the ICALT uh, conference, the 22nd International Conference on Advanced Learning Technologies. So um, people who are registered for ITS also have free access for the first day of uh, ICALT conference. Okay, so uh, yeah, that should be it from, from my side. Uh, thank you to all the um, authors who sent papers, to all the members of the program committee who helped us in uh, selecting uh, the accepted papers, and uh, of course uh, to all the uh, members of the organizing committee, to the uh, general chair of the conference, uh, the uh, local organizing chair, the chair of the steering committee, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm not exactly sure who is going uh, next. Anyway, thank you again, and uh, I wish you all a, a very successful conference and a nice day in Bucharest. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Elvira and Scott. We uh, had a great work for organizing uh, the proceedings and everything. So now I, uh, it is my pleasure to invite uh, Professor Claude Lasson, who is a father in fact of uh, ITS. Uh, for many, many years, I remember my first ITS was exactly 20 years ago in Biarritz, which was a great. Yeah. <laughs> in, <laughs> fact, in fact, I don't know if I'm the father or the grandfather <laughs> of uh, ITS, but uh, you know, anyway, I'm always passionated by. Uh, this interest for uh, intelligent tutoring system. And also you mentioned the artificial intelligence uh, behavior, uh, not only from the researchers, but uh, uh, from uh, 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 tutors in uh, this conference. But we also assist with uh, 
the COVID-19 and the conflict, hmm, unfortunately, we are, which are not very far, that people can adapt. And this is what I could say, I could uh, qualify as natural intelligence. And so it's a criteria of uh, intelligent tutoring system to adapt to the situation, be a health situation or a conflict situation. And uh, this is uh, important uh, to mention. So uh, ITS is the result of a team effort and exists since uh, 1988. <clears throat> so this is why uh, grandfather maybe is more adequate. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's a team effort, and I would like to address warm thanks first to the general chair, uh, Stefan Trausen Matu, uh, University of Bucharest, uh, the two PC chairs, uh, Scott Andrew Crossley and Elvira Popescu, for managing the reviewing. Uh, the reviewing was made by a PC committee under the control of the PC chair, of course, but the reviewing was made by sometimes three to five reviewers. So this is an uh, important criteria which stay permanent at ITS, the quality. So even if a researcher produced an intermediate paper or a, a poor paper, uh, they receive uh, advices from the from uh, the reviewers, and so uh, receiving uh, five comments uh, would definitely help. Uh, not only for this conference, but for other conference. So it's a contribution to the improvement in education. And so, uh, thanks to Scott and Elvira to have uh, respected this criteria of quality. Uh, generally, uh, uh, Elvira mentioned 28% this year, but uh, the evaluation ranged from 16 to 28% in, uh, in general. So uh, for full paper, so having a full paper at ITS is a criteria of quality for uh, future promotion. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to address a special thanks to the uh, organizer Kitty Panuja from IIS and uh, Mihai Daskalu for this uh, very good organization. Uh, thank you and the good ideas and so. Uh, the conference is also uh, advised by uh, program advising chairs who are uh, Maiga Chang, who is there, uh, here, and Yugo Ayashi. So, uh, all this work allows to, you know, uh, provide uh, good advices to maintain the quality of the conference and uh, to help uh, papers and uh, <clears throat> submitters to improve their. Um, so, uh, uh, thanks to uh, Vice Rector uh, for, from the university. Uh, it's very appreciated. In particularly in these times, and uh, so you are also busy, <laughs> so more appreciated. And so I will conclude by these two keywords. So intelligent. Uh, in fact, uh, I would add a new keyword uh, for intelligent tutoring system, which would, which is also uh, uh, AI. Uh, Tutoring system could be based also on AI. AI does not mean artificial intelligence, but AI would mean augmented intelligence. So it would be all the techniques, the capability of uh, human and technique combined and uh, example, remote uh, conference is an example of this adaptation. So everything which can increase the human intelligence to provide uh, intelligence behavior. So not only artificial intelligence, but also human and natural intelligence. So thanks again to everybody. And I wish you a very good conference and good debate, be on site or online.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Claude. Yes, it's, uh, I know that in other editions you made, uh, you had the slide with all the conferences. It is amazing how many conferences. Okay, now I uh, uh, want to uh, invite to say a few words to the organizers, Mihai uh, and uh, Kitty, Kitty and the Mihai. In fact, uh, many times there are people uh, behind which are not uh, or, 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 uh, known and uh, they work hard for this company. <clears throat> Uh, good morning to everybody. On behalf of uh, the Intelligent Tutoring Systems Conference and uh, on behalf of the organizers, I would like to welcome you to the 18th IPS Conference and um, to, to mention that uh, when we picked up the topic of the conference, new challenges for IPS during and after COVID, um, we, of course, didn't know that there would be other challenges as well, mm -hmm. challenges of the conflict, challenges of organizing a hybrid conference, which is something new for everybody. And it is, it was very challenging because we had to care for the needs of online people and on-site people. Uh, I wish and I hope that this conference uh, is a successful one. Uh, of course, as I said already, we were challenged. And one more feature which is important to consider is that uh, we came here as two parallel conferences, two conferences one after the other. So we have this innovative mm -hmm. feature of uh, hosting on the last day of ITS, the first day of ICAL conference. Of course, uh, the organizer of ICAL conference, Michael Chai, is also our program advising uh, member, chair. So uh, I hope that uh, you will all benefit from this new feature. Um, I think that um, while keeping all the challenges aside, we are really very honored to welcome here all the authors who decided to be on site and of course, all our authors and guests and attendees who uh, attend the conference online. Uh, it is a very important uh, feature to be able to keep this hybrid uh, um, type of conferences going on because I think that this is the new trend. And this conference will teach us how to adapt and adjust ourselves to the needs of a hybrid conference of this combination of online and on-site uh, uh, situation. Um, I would like to thank, of course, the Politecnica University of Bucharest for hosting us in this beautiful city. It's really our honor and pleasure to be here. Um, the premises are excellent. Um, I would like to thank, of course, the university authorities and our dear Adina Florea, the vice rector, for being here with us and uh, for giving us a welcome speech and for hosting us. Of course, I would like to thank our general chair, Stefan Matu and Strauss Matu, who is a very old friend of everybody here, an eminent uh, personality in the area of IPS. Uh, of course, uh, the local chair, the local organizer chair, Mihai Daskalou, who did his best to organize every detail of the conference and to support us in every single step and phase of the organization and of the implementation of the conference. Thank you, Mihai. Uh, of course, I would like to thank the president of the steering committee, Claude Frasson, and all the members of the steering committee for their continued support throughout all the phases of the preparation of the conference and of the continuation of the best, uh, the best outcome of each ITS conference. Uh, we are really counting on their continuous uh, input for keeping the high standard of ITS uh, in a long-term situation. A great thanks, of course, to our two program chairs, Elvira Popescu and uh, Scott, uh, Crossley Scott, for their very significant, intensive work uh, in organizing 
uh, the reviewing process, uh, in organizing the program, and of course, you are in the heart of uh, this uh, organized this uh, conference, and uh, all uh, important results are due to your efforts. Thank you very much for all your work. And many thanks, of course, to our advising chairs, Micah Chang and Hugo Hayashi. I hope that Hugo is somewhere there and attending. Uh, they are always um, to our side, supporting us with very important pieces of advice. Uh, thank you to all the session chairs who will chair the different sessions of the conference. Uh, we are thankful, of course, to the reviewers and to the program committee members for all their hard work, as uh, Professor Frasson has already mentioned, three to five reviewers for each paper. It's a very intensive effort. We are really honored to have this year uh, three eminent keynote speakers from all around the world, the academician Dan Tufis from uh, uh, Bucharest, from Bucharest, I think, yes, mm -hmm. from Bucharest, and Daniel McNamara from Arizona State University, and uh, um, Dimitriad, uh, uh, Yanis Dimitriadis, yes, Greek name, <laughs> so I have to, to, to spell it out correctly, from the University of uh, well, uh, in Spain. Okay. Uh, special, I would like to address special thanks to Anna Kramer and to Springer uh, because we have a long lasting, fruitful collaboration in publishing the proceedings uh, all these years from the beginning of ITS. And uh, Anna Kramer will be here with us today. So it's a very big pleasure to meet her in person. Uh, an important um, feature of uh, the ITS conference is the diversity and the networking offered to the different uh, authors and attendees. I would like to say that this year we are very happy to have uh, authors from different places of the world. Apart from Europe and USA, we have people from Canada, Colombia, Australia, Russia, India, South Korea, Japan. So this shows actually the diversity of ITS conference and the big interest all around the world. Uh, we believe that the ITS, uh, the ITS 2022, even in this hybrid form, will give the opportunity to many of you online and on site to continue this important networking. And um, I would like to finish here to thank you all. And of course, to address a big thank to the team of Neo Analysis, Eliana, who is here, Rasa, Stefano, Isaac, Celepis, and all the team who works behind the conference. Thank you very much, and I wish a very successful event. Thank you. Thank you.